Okay. So we're just getting ready to do a, a live. And so I'm just waiting for Sarah to join us. And um, those of you who are out there, hello, listening. My name is Amy. I'm the, well, I'll let you know who I am in a minute. <laughs> hello. Okay, just waiting for Sarah to join us. Bit of music on in the background while we're waiting. Anyone recognize this one? Oh, hello! <laughs> I best not go too loud. Oh, I like it. Let's have a dance. Love it. <laughs> the groovy one. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? Amazing. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, yes. A little oh, bit. Oh, fantastic. So. <laughs> I know, yeah, you've had a busy day. You've been rushing, but oh, thank you. Well, thank you. We've already got lots joined us live, which is brilliant. So <laughs> thank you so much to everyone who's joined. And thank you to Amy, our lovely schools coordinator, who's uh, taking part in. This is our second of the Meet the Team yeah. series today. So, wasn't it? Was it a couple of weeks ago? Last yeah, month? it was. Yeah, last month. So, um, yeah, it's lovely to have you. Oh, brilliant. So, we've got loads of questions and lots of people have sent some in as well. So, um, we shall get going straight away. So, to start with then, Amy, do you want to tell all of our viewers a little bit about yourself and your background and where you're from? Yeah, well, where I'm from, I'm actually from the Midlands, so Nottinghamshire. So, Robin Hood country, if you like. So, <laughs> very own Maid Marian. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, I'm up from Nottinghamshire. Uh, my background, I guess, has been dance for my whole, pretty much my whole life. I started um, started dancing baby ballet, as as I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of our viewers maybe have watched, uh, have started yeah. as well. My mum took me to a, a baby ballet class when I was younger. And then I kind of grew up with dance, always being a part of my life um, as a hobby at first. Um, and then I kind of made that decision to to train professionally. So um, I studied musical theatre, um, which is like, um, I think Kelly also studied musical theatre, our head of D DD Mix for Schools as well. Yeah, amazing. Studied up in Leeds, which is, Sarah, is that where you're from? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. That's similarity. So I studied up in Leeds, studied musical theatre um and then went on to kind of working professionally so i started um hi giselle giselle just joined <laughs> oh hello giselle <laughs> um, yeah so then after training went pretty much straight into into work and i started working um on board cruise ships which was like a big something very very different having like lived away from home for a bit at, um at yeah. college be never too far away from mum and dad just to see them at the weekends and then go into like working months away on a cruise ship performing so um that's what I went to do for for a while then kind of ventured back to London did like lots of auditioning and did a few jobs okay and to be honest kind of um missed the travel and missed the the kind of variety that you get on on cruise ships so I went back to them I think once you get the bug I'm sure uh, whether you're a guest or an employee, you know, there's often a book that you get with cruise ships and things. So I went uh, back to work on them. Um, and then was on, did a few different ones, different companies, um, but then had to come off, um, stop performing basically, because I, uh, I suffered some injuries. So they kind of curtailed my uh, performing career. So I suddenly had to reevaluate. Um, yeah. But then things pathways cross and things like that and then um, and I came came across DD Mix so amazing so yeah so how did you get involved with DD Mix then it was actually it was actually my dad and I and I'm sure he'll love to take oh, wow. <laughs> um but it was my dad he was um he was watching I think it was BBC News to be honest um and Darcy wow very early days I think she was kind of discussing and letting people know about the program um, and my dad saw it and was like oh have you have you heard of this DD mix and at the time I hadn't I hadn't at all um but I had time on my hands because I was still kind of recovering and rehabilitating from my injuries so I started looking into things and, and I actually remember emailing Giselle and being like um I've got a few injuries but I'm really interested in in becoming a DD mix 
instructor are there ways that I can kind of like opt in and out of doing things and she was so lovely like so supportive um, and I went up to Manchester so up, up wow. north <laughs> to do a, to do the training session um, and it was the first bit of kind of physical like activity and like dance that I'd done yeah since my injuries and so I was a bit apprehensive at first I wasn't really sure what I was yeah. going to do and how much I'd be able to join in but it was it was brilliant I loved the whole day and um, Darcy and Giselle were obviously really lovely and um and it was just a real laugh like to get to do all the routines and get to move in different ways I just loved it um so that was how I became a Digi Mix instructor um and I started doing adult classes for a while down I moved back to North London because I did um, some teacher training, so I did my dance teachers training alongside, and then I started doing some DD Mix classes in North London, and then I discovered that DD Mix for Schools was happening, um, so got introduced to Kelly. Um, so was at one of the first, I think, DD Mix Schools training sessions. Don't ask me what year because wow. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 2017, I want to say. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so then went to um, went and did the training, um, which is basically like being a big kid again. To be honest, like you get put in the shoes of being a child when you're doing like inset training and things, and and I love that. So then I kind of decided to to focus more on the education side of things, more teaching with children and things, um, and that's kind of been my route ever since. Really, I've been teaching since then. So for the past coming up to six years now I think oh, so amazing. with DD Mix now obviously I'm the I'm the school's coordinator which yes is... that's amazing so tell us a bit more about this your role then as school's coordinator what does it exactly entail so, yes I guess it's just to basically um liaise with the schools so I member schools mm using the program or who want to use the program um, they'll get in contact with us and I'll like get in, re respond to them kind of support them in any way you can so yeah that be to do with like their memberships or things like that but more importantly like the program if they need support with the program how to use it how it can be adapted um, if if they want inset training and things like that or workshops we've got a couple of workshops coming up actually which is exciting um, so just things like that and actually any events we were actually at the vet show which I know you posted mm -hmm. last week so I was there along with yourself and Kelly so we were there at the vet show singing the sing the DD mix praises <laughs> um, but it was it was really good opportunity to meet lots of people and and just um find out a bit more about what's out there and see how we might collaborate with people i guess yeah definitely oh amazing so for those maybe who are online now who um haven't really heard of the DD mix for schools program or don't really know what it's about mm -hmm. do you want to just explain a little bit more just to so, let them know and um, so obviously you might be familiar with the DD Mix pro, uh, program for adults, which is obviously based mm. on, I don't know, 40 different styles now or something. Yeah, gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's lots and lots. <laughs> uh, so, so for the DD Mix for Schools program, we've focused in on um, some of the iconic genres, some of the original genres. Um, and rather than do six or seven routines in an hour, we focus on two or three across the term so that you're not, you learn the moves and you learn the routines, but then you take it a step further so that um, you're, there are different games and different creative activities that are kind of intertwined within them to kind of suit the theme. Yeah. That might be, for instance, learning about what a canon is, like mm. in like like a Mexican wave I often used to describe. So when the yeah, yeah. One does it and then the next person. So using different kind of different terminology that's used in like theatre and dance, um, but also making it really fun, like with the games and things, there are like different games and lots of opportunities for the children themselves to get creative because I know from my experience, like children love to have a say in what they're doing. So like the DD Mix programme is designed to kind of be a platform for that. So allow them the opportunity to be creative like you often see children who perhaps have never danced before maybe they've never had the opportunity and then you get them in in a hall or a classroom or a studio and then you put a piece of music on and suddenly they light up and they're moving yeah. to be honest that's what our what our aim is is our aim is to get people moving as well as the teachers we obviously want to get the teachers moving as well 
a bit of a break away from the classroom as, as, if you like to get out yeah oh it's amazing and <laughs> i know we're in obviously lots of um schools throughout the uk are we like global as well are we yes in other yeah. Um, we have lots of p different pockets of schools. So we have some over your way, over in Wales, um, lots around London, um, yeah. some down kind of Plymouth way, um, down in Dorset, Amazing. Devon. Um, we then have Belfast. We have um, a lovely school, school over in Belfast. We have one in Singapore. We have one in Dubai. We've had one in India. And actually, we've had lots of... Um, right. From Indian schools at the moment which is exciting one from Germany <laughs> so we're yeah. gradually starting to spread which is really great because we just want to get get the program out there because we've, we've, we've got it and it's really good and we just want more people to know about it so definitely and that's a good thing about dance isn't it is that anyone can get involved and especially how the program is designed it's so adaptable to yeah, so schools and areas moment it initially started as a key stage one and key stage two program so from year one up to year six um and then we recently updated it and extended it to actually include early years as well because those first five years of any child's life are just so important so crucial to learn about so many different things like social like different motor skills and things like that and dance is a perfect opportunity to combine that and and just give them a chance to have fun <laughs> and to move yeah. to a lot of the time they feel like they're at a party so um we yeah, have developed the program to make um to incorporate some nursery and reception um as well so we're, we're gradually 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 expanding and obviously we've got the adults program which is which is always nice to see um so i think i saw a few instructors and a few people at the christmas party so hello to yeah hello oh. they've joined us <laughs> Oh, amazing. So what would be your advice for maybe because we've got obviously instructors um, online now, but also maybe people who have jumped on and they're not really sure about ZZ Mix or maybe they're thinking, oh, this looks good. I want to get involved, but maybe they're a bit nervous to attend a class. What would be your advice for them? I guess the first thing is just don't worry. Like the, the program has been designed. It's not designed for professional dancers or anything like that. Like yeah. it's it's designed to be accessible both for, for the person who the student or the, the person who's doing it and the person who's delivering it so that the, the framework if you like of the routines mm -hmm. is that there are these four four set movements and those even those movements can kind of be made simpler or made more challenging as you get confident along the way i just think it's such um a diverse uh, as it's in the name it's such <laughs> A diverse program and it's just accessible it, it's we've got anyone anyone can do it like we've got different versions of the program obviously i know that there's there's been dd mix sit so it can be done sat down so different ways of kind of incorporating it. i know some in some of our instructors use it in care homes which is absolutely brilliant we've got obviously children using it we've got elder people using it we've got a real mix of people anyone so just yeah. Wear a good pair of trainers so you're comfy. Wear something you're comfy <laughs> in. Drink lots of water amongst it because you probably will sweat quite a lot if, if that's what you want to do. Definitely. So just stay comfy and just have a laugh. Don't take yourself too seriously. Just yeah, definitely. Someone's just said, DJ Mix, Mix classes are great fun, which they is really exactly are. They are. Oh, amazing. And obviously, we've said like how the classes have so many different dance genres within them. <laughs> Um, and yeah. do you have a favorite i know i asked giselle this and we were struggling to choose one one just one um, yeah <laughs> ooh. i i guess a favorite to, i have kind of two that are fa my favorite to teach um so i'd say the hand jive and the disco are my favorite genres to teach because the kids absolutely love it like they love to get groovy they love like anything that's a little bit like complicated or funky um, so I love to teach the hand jive and the, the disco because they as well because they're quite repetitive um, Obviously once you've learned the key movements you can kind of build it and as you get more confident Your kind of energy levels you'll see the legs get a bit higher the flicks will be a bit more energetic and they'll Yeah, certainly children and, and adults that I like can kind of grow with that one um, Do you know which one I also I enjoy to do myself is the flamenco? Yes 
Love the flamenco. And I part of that is is the music. I yeah. Think, and a guitar. And the fact that it starts off like quite subtle with like simple hand movements. And then when you hit like the double time bit, then you're suddenly like moving there's loads of dynamics in it, which I which I really enjoy. Yeah. I can't pick one, sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no I'm exactly the same and I think what I love as well is each genre you do because it some of them are quite um like different maybe what you've done before yeah. in previous dance classes so you do them and you're like oh, wow like this flamenco is amazing I could be a flamenco dancer but then you do the Bollywood and you're like wow I love Bollywood so it's just so lovely to have like the different flavors and the taste of all the different genres yeah and to be honest that's one of the first things like that captured me when I did the DD mix training I was mm -hmm. like it does feel like you are getting a real frit flavor and a sense of of what that style is but in like a, a simple and a nice way i guess yeah yeah definitely oh no definitely um so obviously we're all about like moving the body but also about the well-being side of things um so a couple of well-being questions that people have sent in um someone has said when you're not working how do you like to relax you have something you do to help you relax <laughs> i relax do you know what i like to do yoga i do like yeah. yoga. just in the sense that it's it's great for the mind it's a way to kind of mm. slow down the mind because to be honest like i have such an active mind my mind is continuing <laughs> even when i sleep um like apparently i teach in my sleep all the time i cannot switch <laughs> but at least with yoga i kind of you've got an hour or whatever it is just to focus on you so I, I, and you yeah. get your breath and you get to focus on how your body's moving um and you feel good doing yoga like you never regret doing a yoga class mm. um but always feel it and it feels doing it in a nice controlled way just a different pace i think i yeah. like yoga and just kind of just i'm sure as a as a standard way just just a bath just oh, filling yeah. in with like a bit of Netflix or something on is a great way. With candle on, is a great mm -hmm. way to relax as well. If I can't get <laughs> the video, then it'll be a bath. <laughs> Ideally, both. That would be amazing. Exactly. <laughs> oh no, definitely no. You're exactly right. And we put actually one of our DD Mix top tip top tips was to get enough rest, um, yeah. because obviously it's just so important for the mind and the body as well. Um, oh, that's brilliant. Um, so kind of along the same line, someone has said, um, do you have a happy place where you like to go to? Happy place. <laughs> That's not in the bath or the yoga studio. <laughs> There's an island somewhere. <laughs> I know, yeah. Oh, There's an island. I spent many a time on my beaches, actually. Beaches is definitely a happy place. But I guess close to home would be be at the theatre to be honest like mm. I always feel good going to the theatre like I think it's obviously the connection that I've had throughout my life like I'm not performing anymore but it's great to still still be a part of it in a sense just on the other side of the stage and and going to the theatre is I always go with with my mum or, or with some friends so it's kind of a nice reason to to see people and kind of just be social as well as kind of appreciate art and other people's talent yeah different new productions and fantastic things that have been put on stage and just that makes me happy all the time so as cheesy as that sounds I can't yeah. <laughs> I know I love it the inner performer within you yeah. <laughs> oh amazing um no I completely agree love going to the theatre um so someone has also said um which part of your career have you been most proud of which is a tough question for you because you've done so much already <laughs> Hmm. most proud of I guess I always come back to kind of it's not necessarily oh I've been in this I've been in this mm. it's kind of coming out the back of my my injuries and my accident that I had so mm. really was it was a very difficult and frustrating time I wasn't really sure what was next for me so to kind of like navigate that and kind of make mm. a, something that's still still linked to to dance and to, um to being creative in that sense um i guess i'm proud of proud that that happens and i didn't mm. give up in in a sense um but 
another I guess also the um, the Olympic ceremony the London 2012 that was a once in a lifetime opportunity wow um I was a dementor I... <laughs> as, you, as you are <laughs> good um I was an a tapping dementor no less um I was in <laughs> I was in the <laughs> so many of that and obviously that's not something that's ever going to be replicated yeah. so I out of being a part of that because it was I mean it was iconic wasn't it the whole yeah and the closing and I know that both Nathan and Darcy were were yeah involved I think Darcy yeah was in the closing ceremony um so that was definitely something that I remember like being in a stadium that big yeah was having to wear little in-ears and things and and actually one good thing about being a Dementor was I got to crawl through the audience which was something a bit different so that was wow. a <laughs> oh amazing yeah that's definitely one to uh yeah remember forever that's wow I've still got my headphones you know that's how um <laughs> I've still <laughs> got what you can that I wore on the opening ceremony that they were like q q dementors go <laughs> <laughs> and off you went oh my goodness I'm, we must find the footage somewhere I bet you, live, you will not be able to see there was like hello <laughs> But I was there. <laughs> you were third in on the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely something to be proud of. Um, so obviously, you, I mean, you've talked about it as well with your injuries, but what would you say, like, your biggest lesson you've, um, like, in life has been, you know, what's your biggest lesson you've learned? Mm, I guess just to be open to change. Because, mm. um, well you never know what's going to happen do you? you never know what's around the corner so I think we've all learned that yeah that's to you like, be open to change and don't be afraid to to try something and fail at it you can fail yeah. just fail and just just give it a go like be a yes person I guess be a yes person just give things a go if they work they work if they don't move on yeah oh I love it love it <laughs> definitely gonna take that advice that's amazing <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Um, so I don't want to keep you too much longer because I know your time is precious. You're so busy. But just go back to our DD Mix, obviously, for schools while you're here. We want to pick your brains. Um, so what is the vision for the future for DD Mix for schools? Mm, good question. Um, mm. To be honest, I think I think it's just it's simply to get the word out there. Like we have this amazing program. Um, and so many of our schools love it. They've given such great feedback and we just want more schools to get the opportunity to use it and to know about it. So mm. to get it out there. Um, so if, if, if you know schools and if you've, you've got links with school, let them know that we have a program because especially as instructors and as people who have done DD Mix, you've already had a flavor of it. So, so let them know that they can have a flavor too. Um, I think we're always looking for ways to, to develop the program and expand. Yeah. So always open to, um, to feedback and things like that and, and ideas. So if anyone's got ideas of new genres and things, just in the same way yeah. that, that DD, Mix, DD Mix and Giselle are, are always looking for ways to, to get a new genre, new style. We're always looking at ways to develop the program. Um, and I think a big passion of mine with the DD Mix for School is that I was so, so lucky to, to dance from a young age. Um, and I'm forever grateful for that because it's been a huge part of my life, but not, not every child gets that opportunity at all. And I think if we can get this DD Mix program into schools and just give more children a platform to be able to, to dance, to move, to kind of be active and to be creative, I think it's so important to, to give that opportunity to, to children that perhaps don't get that opportunity usually. And to have that kind of like diverse PE, basically, that's what we are, a dance PE program. And to kind of have that variety um, and opportunity in their PE lessons, um, that's what that's what we want. Yeah. And I think as well, it's getting that message out there that we're such um, like an accessible brand and it's so easy for us to get into the schools. And I think some people maybe think, um, it's quite exclusive and like oh maybe it's really pricey and stuff but it's not like that at all is it no we're, we're actually very affordable and obviously we were a charity as well we became a trust mm. so um we we want we've got the program we want we want yeah. to give people so um yeah 
get in touch if you're uh, if you're yeah. at school or you know a school who's looking for something like a dance PE program. Um, yeah, I can see someone's just said yes. Giselle is like yes. Yeah. It's enjoying being active. Yeah. Yes, definitely. That's what we're about. <laughs> so, what would be obviously you know we've just said do get in touch with us. What would be your advice for anyone who wants to obviously know more about the program or get in touch or suggest a school? How should they go about that? So, so we have, obviously, there's a D Diverse Dance Mix website. We have a separate website for schools, which you can find the link, I think, on the main website anyway. But um, just go to ddmixforschools.com. Um, you can send an inquiry or you can drop me an email on info at ddmixforschools.com. So I'll pick that up there. Um, there are also, on our website, it obviously gives you loads of information about what we're about and what our programme is. There are sample lesson plans that you can check out to see how it works um the kind of framework of and i think that yeah in fact there is a 15 minute free taster assembly so it's kind of a participation taster of you can play it for your school or if you're out of school um and just see get a taste of what it's like our lovely kelly is featured on that one <laughs> oh, amazing oh that's brilliant and we'll make sure we've got links to the website in our bios yeah. as well on our social media so you can get um access to it that way as well um but amy thank you so much it's been amazing talking to you today and it's really good for our audience to hear more about um the dd mix for program and also to get to know you lots, we say amy lots of times but i think it's lovely <laughs> to put a face to the name um, and for them to get to know you a bit more which is brilliant um so yeah thank you so much um, thank you so much it's been a pleasure it's been yeah. so lovely and we'll i could go on for hours but it's been nearly like 30 minutes i'm like where i is... know yeah that's what i thought i was like oh my gosh <laughs> you've had such a busy day you need to go you need to go and rest because we've just said how important it is to rest <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, but it's brilliant. We'll be announcing our next live Q&A for the Meet the Team series um, of social media through over the next few weeks. So do keep a lookout for that. Um, oh, Giselle's saying thank you. So thank you, Giselle. I think oh. Kelly's joined as well. So hello, Kelly. And thank you to everyone who's joined us live. We'll thank be saving you. this to our social media channels as well. So you can always catch up later. And if anyone thinks of any questions that they, they wish they'd have asked, please, please just um, comment. Of course. So that because yeah always be there to answer them definitely oh thank you so much amy and thank you to everyone and we'll see you soon take care bye, -bye. bye, -bye.